in the last video using using the definition of natural log function and some simple case work we showed the derivative of natural log of x is equal to 1 over x and derivative of natural log of absolute value of x is also 1 over x so using this let's try to differentiate the following functions the first one natural log of 7x let's we gotta use chain rule let's let 7x be our x for just a moment differentiating with respect to 7x gets us 1 over that or 1 over 7x and now we have to differentiate 7x and multiply by that so multiply by 7 so you get 1 over x in fact you can so you can show that derivative of natural log of some constant times x is equal to 1 over kx times k or just 1 over x so it doesn't matter if it's natural log of 7x natural log of 2x in the in the end you're going to get 1 over x when you differentiate it let's look at b natural log of x squared there are two ways of doing it first way is just do it right away you get 1 over x squared times 2x from which you get 2 over x another way using property of natural log you can move this 2 out front so you have 2 times natural log of x as our original function differentiating this you get 2 over x either way you should get the same result next one natural log of x squared in this case you're not squaring then taking natural log you're taking natural log then squaring it so it's not the same so let's treat natural log of x to be our imaginary x for just a moment differentiating with respect to natural log of x you get two times that two times natural log of x and now you gotta differentiate natural log of x and multiply by it so one over x so you have two times natural log of x divided by x now let's look at d natural log of x cubed plus x squared minus x plus one so letting this entire thing be our imaginary x for a moment you get one over x cubed plus x squared minus x plus one and you gotta multiply by derivative of this thing which is 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 so we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 divided by the entire thing now let's look at this one natural log of sine of x now let's think of sine of x as being our x or u or however you want to do it so you have 1 over sine of x and now you gotta differentiate sine of x and multiply by that so multiply by cosine of x which gets you cotangent cotangent of x now let's look at f now you have same thing as e but users have absolute value and as we've seen it doesn't matter if you have absolute value or not the final result is going to be the same so you can treat sine of x as being our x once again and differentiating natural log of absolute value of something gets you one over something when it's with respect to that something <laughs> i'm using a lot of somethings my bad and you want to multiply by derivative of sine of x which is cosine of x so as you can see you can get you get the exact same thing because natural derivative of natural log of x and derivative of natural log of absolute value of x gets you the same thing just replacing this parenthesis outer parenthesis with absolute value sign still gets you the same thing